Hi, it's Kristaps from UGCS. Many of you have asked us to make a video on how to create longer missions in UGCS with battery changing in the middle. In this tutorial, I will create an area scan mission with current following that will require us to change the battery for our drone in the middle of the route and then restart it from the last point. For the demonstration, I'll use an helicopter, but the procedure will be the same for your drone. Be informed, for longer missions, the drone will fly further than 500 meters, therefore either UGCS-1, UGCS Pro or UGCS Enterprise license will be required. To get your license, head over to our website gcs.com. Now, first things first, let's create a new mission. Click on the menu button at the top left hand corner of the screen and select create new mission. Double click on the mission title and let's change the name to the name of our choosing. Next, let's add our helicopter. Click on the Add Vehicle button on the top right hand side of the screen and select Emicopter. Now that we have our drone, let's create the route. To do that, click on the Add New Route button on the upper left hand side of the screen. Let's create a new route from scratch. Click Next. Select the corresponding profile of your drone in this list. In my case, I'll be using an Emicopter. Here you can also change the name of your route to the name of your choosing. Click Next. You can leave these route parameters to their default values. Click OK. Now you are presented with route creation tools on the left side of the screen. We will be creating an area scan route with turn following, so let's select the area scan tool. Next let's adjust the parameters of the route. Let's set the turn time to stop and turn. Since you want the drone to follow the terrain, let's set the flight height to 20 meters and the altitude type to AGL, above ground level. This means that the drone will try and keep a constant distance of 20 meters over the ground even when the elevation will change. Let's set the side distance to 20 meters. Now select the area you want to scan on the map. To do this, double click or hold the shift button and click. You can see that in this case the route was not calculated and we are presented with an error. This is because the route exceeds the fence radius of the drone. This can be changed in the vehicle profile. To change that, let's go over to the main menu. Click on the menu button at the top left hand corner of the screen and select main menu. Next, go to profiles and find the profile of the drone that you will be using. Once you have found it, select it and click edit. Now find the fence radius parameter under routing and you can see that it's currently set to 500 meters. Let's increase it to say 1000 meters. Then click save button next to the name of the profile. Once the changes are saved, click the back button at the very top to go back to the main map. Now you can see the route has been calculated and UGCS informs us that the estimated flight time exceeds the maximum flight time specified in your vehicle profile. Let's take a look at what is the estimated flight time. To do that, click on the gear icon on the route card and select show elevation. The elevation profile of the route will be displayed. The altitude AMSL is shown on the left side. The light grey area represents the ground and the green line is the altitude of the drone in correspondence to ground elevation. You can see that it keeps an AGL altitude of 20 meters with a maximum deviation of 3 meters. Currently the estimated route duration is roughly 23 minutes, which is 3 minutes more than the maximum flight time specified for the drone. All looks good, but before flying the route, there's one more thing to do to optimize the route. Let's change the direction angle so that the survey lines are parallel to the longest edge of the selected area. To do that, go to the area scan parameters window and change the direction angle. Let's try and set it to say 60 degrees. Now, once the route has been recalculated, you can see that the estimated flight time has been decreased to 22 minutes. This is one of the reasons why it's always best to set the survey lines parallel to the longest edge of the selected area. Now we are almost ready to fly the route. One last thing, let's add a waypoint before the area scan mission to make sure the area scan route is calculated so that the first waypoint in the area scan is closest to the location of the drone and not on the opposite side of the field. To add the waypoint before the area scan, click on the modifier button on the left side of the screen. 
insert new route segment before the existing one and select the waypoint tool. Now place the waypoint near the location where your drone will be taken off from. Keep in mind that unless you set the home location explicitly, this point will also be the return home location to which the drone will return when you will have to exchange the battery. Depending on your location and the area, you might also want to set home location explicitly for longer missions so that the drone could land nearer to the point where the battery will be low. This will allow you to cover a larger area by saving the battery power, since there will be no need for the drone to fly all the way back. To set the home location explicitly, click on the gear icon on the route card and select parameters. Then under home location, change it from first waypoint to set explicitly. Then click on the target icon. Now you can place the home location on the map. Let's place it here. And set the altitude to say 20 meters. Click OK. Click OK once again in the parameters window to close it. Now we are ready for flight. Click upload to upload the route to your drone. Then click ARM to arm it, and auto mode to send it on the mission. Now we can see that the drone is taking off and starting to fly the route. I will speed up this segment. If you remember, the maximum flight time for the drone is about 20 minutes, but the estimated flight time for this route is 22 minutes. This means that the route is about 10% longer, so we will have to make the drone fly back to the home location once more than halfway in the route. When you make the drone fly back, take note of the last waypoint the drone reaches before being sent back, since it will be used for uploading the second part of the route. Now you can see the battery of the drone is already almost at 40%, it would probably be time to start heading back. Let's take note of the last waypoint the drone reached. You can see the number of the waypoint by moving the mouse cursor over it. In this case, the last waypoint is waypoint number 46. So let's take note of that number and let's click on return home. Once the drone has reached the home location, let's click on the land action button to make it land. Now change the battery of the drone and restart it. MCopter will reset its battery once I re-upload the route. Once you've changed the battery and the drone is turned on, you will need to upload the route again, but this time by specifying a certain starting point, the last weapon the drone reached. In this case it was waypoint number 46, so we'll need to set that as the starting point. To do that, click on the gear icon on the route card and select change start point. Then find waypoint number 46 and click on it you will see a flag icon appear above it. Now you're ready to upload the route again and send the drone off to finish the mission. Click on the upload button to upload the route to the drone. Take note of this checkbox, which makes sure that the drone flies through the first waypoint before flying to the starting point of the mission. If this is not selected, the drone will fly straight to the starting point. But for safety purposes, it's better to leave this checked. Click OK to upload the route. Now click ARM to arm the drone and auto mod to send it off on the mission. Now you can see that after taking off and reaching the first waypoint, the drone is heading directly to the flagged waypoint instead of flying the mission all over again. And that's it! In this tutorial we have covered two important drone mission planning aspects in UGCS planning area scan missions with Terran following, as well as flying longer routes with changing the battery in the middle. Make sure to click like if you liked this tutorial, click subscribe to be the first one to get more content on drone flight planning. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. Thank you for watching and see you out in the open skies!